YouTube. What is up? I'm here with another video. And before this video starts, I just want to say I'm truly sorry for not posting every week like I told you I was. The reason why I haven't been posting, there is no excuse. Just the fact that 2K17 was really boring, but that still is no excuse. And I'm sorry for not posting in three weeks. For now on, I promise you I will post every week. So yeah, before this video starts, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you guys think 2K18 was worth the hype or worth the $100, the $120, the $60? Let me know what you guys think of this 2K18. Is it good or is it just trash? So yeah, drop a comment down below what you guys think of 2K18. And for now, today we're going to be going over the best center builds I have seen in 2K18 as of now. And as I've played, I've already made three centers. And I gotta say, these are the best builds for centers. Anyways, with further ado, let's jump right into the video and let's get this video started. <laughs> Alright, so for the first build we're going to be going over to run around in the playground. You're going to see this build a lot. You're going to see it every time. You're going to see so many YouTubers talking about it. And I have I have this one. And I got to say, he's pretty good. That's why I suggested to him. But he is not the best. So stick tuned to that at the end of the video. I'm going to be showing you guys the best center build. I'll be using him throughout the whole 2K18 in playground. And for the first build, it's going to be post scoring primary skill and then your secondary skill rebounding. The reason why that is, is you get two Hall of Fame, which are going to help you a lot out in the playground. And you get seven gold badges, seven silver, and three bronze. The seven gold are going to be helpful as long you're going to have hustle rebounder as a gold one. And then for the height, as what you're going to want to make is you're going to want to make them seven foot three. Yes, I know, you're going to see a lot of negatives. That is mostly for point guards. Most of the negatives are for point guards, like I just said. That doesn't matter. Height is what you want for a center. Max out your wingspan. And for the weight, you want to go under the neutral weight. Why? Because as a post scorer, you need to be pretty fast, and that way you can shoot mid range and a little bit of three point. And you can at least need some way to back your opponent down when you're posting up. And too much weight, you're going to be too slow. Because weight plays a big factor in 2K18 this year. As if for shoulder width, max it out. That way you can just body people when you're going up for the dunk. And you know, I got to go with the left hand. Because I still think a left hand will be shooting better in 2K18. As if for the second build. This is the build I'll be using throughout 2K18, I believe, as a center. I think this build will be the best in 2K18. In fact... I know it's going to be the best. Nobody knows about this build yet. I haven't seen anyone as of today play with this build. I'm the only one who's played with this. And I ha only lost one game today. And that's because I'm a 64 overall. And I'm beating 85s out here. I 22 owed the first game. My second game, 23 owed them. So, for this build, you're going to want to make sure your primary and your secondary both rebounding. Why? Because you get 5 Hall of Fame, 4 Gold, three silver and six bronze is way better than a post scorer and a rebounding you're getting a better rebounding the post scorer can out rebound you your dunks is good your layups is good your vertical is okay but your mid range is what i'm scared of but just like 2k17 it's mid range and three point was trash but you could still shoot as for the wingspan you want to max that out weight max it out as well and the reason why I'm gonna max it out is because as a center you need a rebound you need your contact up you need your strength up you need your box out up that way if you get that snag you're putting that up you're gonna get the snag you gotta put it up or you gotta pass it out that's the whole purpose of this build and this is gonna make you win you're gonna get your grade up to an A plus this build is gonna help you out and I bet it gets you to a higher rep than most of your friends so make sure to make this build and so for shoulder width, you're going to want to max that out as well. So this is going to be just like 2K17 build, which was an OP build. Max out everything. Literally everything. Your whole point of this is to out-rebound anyone, snag over anyone, pass that out, or go up with it. This is the whole purpose of the build. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and you can now be the best center in 2K18. If you guys want more videos about 2K18, make sure to hit that thumbs up, and leave a comment down below what I should do next for next week's video. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week, and I'm out. Peace. I know I'm gonna get it, I just don't know how. I've never felt how I feel.